here's for using stuff you have around to do the job. I don't have a proper uh, overhead camera, tripod stuff. I haven't invested a lot of money. I'm pretty lazy in that regard and too cheap to spend too much on it. Anyway, this is the video I made uh, this morning with my camera on my phone. And um, those are the alcohol inks. And here's the ink tents. Ink tents. And I'm just by a window seat in my studio. And it's by a window. And the light is really good during the day. So that's the reason I chose this. So now, and it's a soft cushion. I've got this piece of uh, marble on here, but there's a soft cushion here. So not too practical to put any tripod on. Meanwhile, I save things. And I had saved, I had saved this um, container, plastic container, because it's a nice big rectangle one, big wide mouth, thought it would be useful. And it was just sitting here, but it had this little indentation all around it, which wasn't too practical. So I grabbed a little tile and I also had laying around. And some time ago I had made these sandbags for my pottery and uh, I use them to prop up pottery in different shapes and so forth so this is a great big old uh, bag full of sand <clears throat> and I wanted to use the camera so now I'm using my husband's camera just to uh, or phone just to uh, demonstrate what I wanted to do so let me turn his camera his uh, <clears throat> trying to turn his phone on. Okay, here it is. And that's his phone and it's a camera, right? So I wanted to look at an overhead camera and it was doing the job. I didn't want to catch the container it was on. So what I did is extend it out. Of course, that makes it precarious. And then I just plunked this sandbag on the top of it. And I still can get to the controls. I got to the controls. So it's uh, amazing. And of course, I could adjust it any way I want, you know, up and down. Um, and that's what I did. So without having a whole lot of <laughs> time and effort to make something work, I used my camera. Let me see if I can get a big picture of it. <laughs> and these pens by the window and a sandbag and I highly recommend sandbag if you have any sand laying around nice big fat sandbag and I have several of these I actually have some in different shapes and small uh, that I used for my pottery but it made a very sturdy and easy to move see <laughs> my camera and I can get to the controls um, I'm holding my cam my other camera so you can see so I can't uh, tuck it back under, which is what I really want to do. Tuck it back under the sand um, bag. But if you stick it out far enough, you can do the job anyway. Um, that's what I did. So that's his camera, my camera, and on our phone. And nothing more than a real heavy bag of sand and a convenient uh, located um, plastic box. But I have so many things laying around, I could have used a whole bunch of things. Anyway, just a quick little tip if you're desperate to make a video and you would like an overhead and you don't have a tripod and you don't have all that fancy equipment, it did the trick. <laughs>